Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we are here for a new mommy vehicle tour and a camper tour. Okay guys, so excuse my crazy appearance. I just like did not do my makeup very well today and it's Father's Day. So I'm just kind of like relaxing and hanging out. Okay, so I'm going to show you guys like the outside of the vehicle. I'll have Mike run through everything else. Don't mind like the dirt in the driveway with all the landscaping stuff. So we got, um, this is it. We got a used car. This is a 2016 um, GMC Yukon. So I'm gonna give you guys a tour because Mike's watching Kaya. Like I said, it's a Yukon. And this is what the inside looks like. Um, it's not it's not like stock based, it's like a step up. Um, we have like a Bose sound system in here, entertainment system. Um, we did get cloth seats. Now you guys are gonna think I'm crazy, but I, so I saw this vehicle on the lot on Friday and I was like, oh my gosh, this is perfect, it's exactly what I want. So we hopped on it and we got a steal of a deal on it. So um, we weren't necessarily planning on buying a vehicle for Father's Day, but it worked out very much so in our favor. But back to the cloth seats. Um, we chose to go with cloth and we love cloth because with the leather seats, um, we were finding that like Kaya was spilling stuff and it would like get caught under her seat. And as we would like clean it up, like the stuff under her seat the leather would peel up with it and I had a newer vehicle so there was no reason why the leather should have peeled up it was ridiculous so anyways what we're going to do we just wanted to do cloth this time and in the back we're just gonna put like um, it's like a leather like overlay um, in the back seat because we just have bench seats so we're doing like a leather overlay um, underneath the car seats um, to catch like any spillage <laughs> And then we're going to be doing weather tech mats and getting um, like little things that go on the back of the seats, organizers that go on the back of the seats that also hold iPads. And then we're going to fill it full of like diapers and wipes and formula on Riker's side. And then on Kaya's side, we'll have like like Magic Wonder markers and coloring books and toys and her iPad, etc., etc. Her headphones, water bottle. Um, so, anyways, that's why we're going to go with the cloth seats. But um, all right, so again. Just kind of like an overview of the inside of the vehicle. All right, so the dash is like like upholstered leather. It's really nice. And then the same with here. This is all like upholstered leather. Phone holder right here. Um, cup holders. And on the inside here, we've got USBs and um, like a outlet thing here to plug in. But what's nice about this vehicle is it has. Apple CarPlay is like most of the newer vehicles have, um, which we didn't have that in my 2013. So that's really nice, it's a nice upgrade so that we can just like have everything on the screen. Okay, so I just turned it on so I can show you guys. Um, all right, turn it down. So I wonder if I can go to the home screen. So this is the home screen and Apple CarPlay would be right here if you plug your um, phone in. Okay, so it comes with the OnStar na Nav, but if you hook up your Apple CarPlay, you can use the navigation on your phone, which is super nice. All of the Apple CarPlay um, apps, the ones that are like able to be on the car, will show up here. Okay, so um, moving on from this area, which again, so radio, radio, media, radio. <laughs> um, radio, media, and then this will move the screen up and down. So this is like a compartment area. And if it's dark, if it's like nighttime, this will light up. And then you can like charge your phone in this little compartment while you um, are like away from the vehicle so nobody can like steal it. Anyways, that's a really nice feature. I like to keep the vlog camera in here, but pretty schnazzy. Yep, so it has like temp, I don't know what, like all the things that it has. Mother, this. Not quite sure. Yep. So this is all the temp stuff. Mode, um, mode auto, and then you can adjust it here. 
You can lock the rear control though, which is super nice if you have small children, like I do. Um, you can lock that rear control. <laughs> this is the Kaya button. Do not touch it. Um, you can lock it so that they're not messing with it in the back. <laughs> and then um, this is for up front here. It has the rear defrost and all that fun stuff up here. Now another really nice feature on this vehicle, one of my like favorite features is like all of like the extras. So like when it's raining, it will sense that it's raining and it will like automatically start like putting the windshield wipers on. We got to um, experience that this morning, which is super sweet. Has like the lane assist, so it'll buzz the seat if you like are going too close to the to like the um, end of the lane, or if you're about to like hit something or someone, it'll like the seat will buzz. The vehicle comes with Wi-Fi as well if you sign up for the OnStar. And then up here you just have like all your standard stuff. This is like the lights, and this is for um, the real ta rear tailgate, like how far up you want it to go, or if you want it off. Um, and then garage door openers, reading lights. Um, this is what the, um, whatever, the visors look like. Lights up. Standard. This is a really cool feature. I like this. It's got this, like, little mirror thing. So it has this cool little feature, um, where, hi guys, um, you can, like, see the kids in the back. Super sweet. So you're not, like, adjusting your rear view mirror. You can just pop this down and take a peek at them. Um, but yeah, lots of really fun stuff. Do you want to show them the steering wheel side? Standard cruise control. It's nice that you got this. You got this display. Tells you your average fuel economy, trans transmission fluid temp, and it actually it tells you your grade, or basically how level your vehicle is. So if you're going down a steep grade, I can tell you that. And then your whether you're in two-wheel drive or four-wheel drive. And then tire pressure, your oil life, pretty standard. And then your trips, speedometer, which is pretty cool. This I thought was a really nice feature to have. Okay, so I'm going to show you guys the back now. Um, there's like so many features on this vehicle and we're just like learning them as we go. So we're giving you the overview of as far as we know. but. Um, yes, the center console is very nice and it has plenty of room. And then we have two more USBs and then an aux cord and then like just more little compartments. So again, just like an overall pan of this. Super nice. So as you can see, we've got the kids' car seats already in and we're going to be putting that liner on the seats and then the weather tech mats and then the organizers in the back of these seats so that we can keep things nice and clean and so that when the kids are like kicking the back of the seats they don't get the actual seats dirty. Um, but here's a better look at that rear control, that air control, and it has one, two, three, four vents. It does have third row seating. We don't have it up right now, but it does have third row seating capabilities. And then we just got the bench seats. Um, ideally, I did want bucket seats, but this was just such a good deal. Um, I couldn't pass up on this vehicle. And then it just has like your standard like pull down cup holders back here. And again, has the Bose um, speaker sound system. Has the leather upholstered like size. I love this feature because it is, this part is easy to clean because this part doesn't get like as dirty as stuff crusted on. Um, and then more leather upholstery. So again, just like an overview of that. Now to um, pull this down, there's like this little um, loop in the back. So the, if the kids' car seats weren't here, we could also lay this down and have the entire back open, which is nice because you guys know that we have a furniture business on the side and we do deliver a lot of things like, like big media centers. So we could just like lay that down back here. Super nice. but. Um, lots of room for the kids. Kaya has plenty of room for her legs now versus in the other um, we're in like in the pickup truck She didn't have enough room for her legs and my car broke down this week. So that was nice But anyways plenty of room. It's beautiful And then on the back here it does have the one touch automatic tailgate and Right here. There's a little compartment which we store like there's our hitch it does have like a tow package on it which I'll show you in a sec we just have jumper cables like our windshield scraper 
a rubber mallet, <laughs> uh, just all the fun things. Um, and then I always keep a blanket in here for the kids. And then this is an extra diaper bag, which I am going to be doing a diaper bag video for you guys that includes this diaper bag um, to show you what I keep in the vehicle at all times, especially during the summer when we're out and about. Kaya's being insane. But if you did want to pull this third row seating up, you just pull up on here. And then to release it, you just hit that handle. So it's super easy to work with. We're also gonna be putting a WeatherTech mat down um, here because we do go to the lake a lot with the dogs and I want something to protect this, the back of this, and the sides. I just don't want any dog hair or scraping or mud going on. So we're gonna have this entire area like covered for the dogs. And then to close it, you just hit that button. And then again, it does have this um, tow package on there. So there is a hitch underneath here, um, inside of here. But yeah, that is the vehicle. Super beautiful. But yeah, and then the wheels too. These are premium wheels. New vehicle. Now let's move on to the camper for you guys and show you our setup. So this is, it's kind of like a unique camper. I was gonna sh like close this and show you, but so this is like a combo camper. It's like a regular one with like bump outs or like the, um, with the, it's like a pop up, like side outs. So here's the outside of the camper. We're clearing it out right now, which is why we have like all these bins. But it is a Spree Escape by KZ. We've had this for about a year. Now it does have an awning as well, which we have out right now so we can dry it out. We're just doing maintenance like on the camper right now. And then this has an LED strip inside of it so this lights up at night. We do take this camper out quite a bit in the summertime. We live in Minnesota, so we're always going to the lake with it. Okay, so when you step into the vehicle, we've got the step, our little rug. Okay, so it's kind of a mess right now because we're just like cleaning and organizing everything. But um, this is our table, baby formula, baby bag, a nat happy baby. <gasps> Hi, buddy. Oh, you want your passy. There's your passy. There's a good passy. Okay, so again, we've got our little dining area, and then we also have a little sign up here. We have the air on right now, so it's kind of loud. But here's our sound system. We do have a sound system in the camper, and that's controlled from right here. We've got storage above, and then the bed, of course, is the pop-out portion. Um, and then this folds out into a bed. This is our couch, folds out into a bed. This folds out into a bed. I know the upholstery is beautiful, isn't it? <laughs> so this is our bed that we always sleep on. It doesn't have sheets on it right now. And Riker's just hanging out, being a good boy. Yes, you are. You've been a good boy hanging out. So the kids have been hanging out on this while we've been cleaning it out today. This is where like we keep, this is like our little closet and I usually keep um, like extra sweatshirts for Kaya in here. It's not quite big enough for our clothes. Um, so I just keep a couple extra sweatshirts for her. Our dish drying rack, our dish, our dish drying rack, wow that was really hard to say, is right here. We've got some extra cups and usually I'll have like chips and snacks in here as well. And up here we have our TV and then we'll bring our Apple TV with like some stored movies on it so that Kaya can watch at night or if it's raining. We have the fridge and then this looks like this looks like it would be storage underneath but it actually is not storage. So we have our fridge and it has a little bit of a freezer section inside of it um, but it does the job. Over here this is our counter space. Again it's kind of messy because we're just cleaning it up. Um, coffee maker and then sink. And then Kaya had a like cupcake in a bowl earlier. <laughs> so that's what that is. Bubbles hand sanitizer. Now when we're traveling, we keep this basket here, but then we'll but then when we're not traveling, we'll put this on that dining table over there. But this is our little um, cooking area with our stove. I got this dream catcher when we went to South Dakota in the Badlands last year. It was so beautiful. I try to like collect something from every place we go and put it in here. Um, I haven't been doing a very good job of that, but that's like my goal. Um, and then just like a little sign 
and then like just decor. Now over here, I always have a towel just to like dry our hands. And then in here is all of our silverware and measuring cups and stuff because like we'll cook legit meals when we're out and then always corn on the cob when we're camping on the grill or over the fire pit. So nice. We have like a little mini charcoal grill that we'll bring with us. Now in here, I need to stock this more, but this is like bowls and Tupperware containers and plates and like miscellaneous. I've got an ice cube tray, a little snack holder, cup for Kaya, extra cup and then coffee cups for Mike and I. And then this is more miscellaneous stuff, but it's like glow sticks and koozies, lighter, fire starters, and some towels. Now underneath here, it's just like a Mod Podge of stuff, but we have this skillet. This is really nice for cooking hash browns and breakfast in the morning. We can just plug those in. And then we've got pots and pans and a couple, I think this is a serving tray. We like to use this for um, slicing potatoes and then we'll cook those in here. Lots of like plates and just holders for the plates, paper towels to clean up. Down here are just extra like Tupperware containers and um, silverware. We've got our cleaner um, and then aluminum foil baggies and all of that fun stuff and some sponges. And usually we've got some Lysol wipes down here as well. And then we've also got some dish soap hiding back there for cleaning dishes, which we also have like a big um, tub for washing dishes outside. Up here is where we keep all of our food. It's just a bunch of like extra stuff right now, but like the essentials like coffee creamer, oil. I think there's a bag of coffee in here pineapple juice for making um, adult beverages. <laughs> and then hot cocoa, some Mio's, Crystal Light, some seeds I think are in there too, some sunflower seeds. And then these are always nice when you're camping, um, in a camper anyway, so you can boil water. But um, I like to make these for sides when we're camping. And of course in Minnesota, lots of lakes. So when we're camping, we're always camping at the lake. We catch fish. So of course we've got some like fish breading batter mix if we want to do a fish fry, which you can also, we can also fry fish in this thing too and like put oil in there, super yummy. And then over here is where we keep all of our seasonings and spices. This is just like all of our extra stuff from upstairs that we keep down here. Just everything we'd need for like tacos and meat, um, fish stuff. Yeah, lots of fun stuff does also have a microwave so if we ever want to make popcorn um, we can or just like reheat something quick and then right here so like after you come out of the kitchen um, we have the bathroom now inside the bathroom we don't ever use this shower um, maybe once in a while we will if we just need a quick rinse off but the tank the water tank in here isn't very good hence the water tank sitting here we'll use this water for like washing our hands outside and um, filling up um, like for washing the dishes etc this is really nice usually most of the camping places we go to have a water hookup and we can just do this um, toilet and this is where i keep my broom um, and then hi guys um, and then this is the vanity inside of here we have all first aid things down here everything you would need for camping we've got like all the kids stuff and nasal spray and um, leave vitamins um, poison ivy scrub because there is poison ivy where we go camping okay and then up here is usually where I keep the toiletry items I usually have a bunch of shampoo and conditioner I do have like deodorant face lotion um, and then over here is where I keep a lot of our bug spray and like tanning oil and like SPF all of our sunscreen the kids is sunscreen I think there's one that has like it's like bug spray and sunscreen all in one, but we have so much in here. It stores a ton. And then down here, I just have like a couple of decorations from when I went to Cape Cod with my grandma. And then down underneath here is where I keep all of the towels. Um, this first one is towels, so these are the kids' towels. And then behind there, you can see I've got a bunch of beach towels. Um, and then washcloths because most of the campsites we go to have really nice showers so we will use these um, to wash ourselves and then down here is just where I keep like the RV friendly toilet paper so 
So again, that's just an overview of the bathroom. It's small, but it does the job again. We aren't in here a ton, um, but it is plenty of room for when we do go. And then we've got Kaya's fishing rod hiding behind the toilet right now. <laughs> but yeah, very nice. And then we have this like big walkway, which again, we've got like a garbage bag. We're just cleaning it out. Um, we've got like a nice walkway. So these are two more bedrooms or beds. They are all three full size beds in here. So this will pop out just like that one does. So this will pop out and then this bed back here will pop out and it does go all the way back too. So this is a full size bed. Like this doesn't even do it justice. It goes way back here. This whole thing folds out. If my parents come with us, this is where they stay because they can have some privacy and close the curtain. Um, and then we also keep like a little, like a playpen in here for Riker. And over here, this is like our little docking station. So if, if we have guests in here, they'll put their cell phones, like books, whatever that they are using. We'll go here. And then these hooks are really nice. Um, and we hang our wet towels here or our damp towels. We won't put like sopping wet towels inside here, but just towels. We like to hang those here, dog leashes, etc. All will go here. And underneath is where we have storage for these beds. So I've got sheets. It's not pretty. They're not folded the greatest, but um, we've got sheets for both of the beds. We've got a beach towel or beach blanket, some extra blankets for these two beds, um, a picnic basket for Kaya, tons of card games just in case we're camping when it's raining. And then over here, we also have like all the dog stuff. Um, and then kids stuff too. You can see Kaya's already been sorting through it. We've just got books and like some animal flash cards, um, actual cards, just like a ton of really fun stuff for her, a coloring books. And then this is dog food for the dogs and then a water and food dish for them. Now over here I have a little hook. Um, I was gonna do a better organizational system, but I'm almost thinking I've got this organizer that I want to somehow hang from the ceiling and like get it as close as possible so it doesn't take up any extra room. But I've got this organizer and I want to like hang it so we can put toys or snacks or people can put their um, clothes in here. Like our guests who are staying over here can have all of their things in here. So that's why that's sitting on the floor right here is because we want to set that up. But yeah, so there is an overview of that little area in the back. Now that again is just like behind the bathroom. It does have heat, as you guys can probably hear from all the air, but it has a fan and AC as well. But yeah, this is our little home away from home. This is where Riker will hang out. Hi! This is his little bassinet that we bring with us. And that will sit like right here and then I sleep here. So he's nice and safe in his bassinet right next to me because I'll sleep here, Michael sleep here, and then Kaya usually sleeps between us. Um, but yeah, so then he'll be here hanging out in his bassinet. It's a good deal, isn't it? Isn't it? You sweet boy, you sweet boy. So and then we also decided to put the boppy pillow in here too because we like to like lay on the grass and stuff when we're camping. So we'll lay a blanket out and then have the boppy pillow out for him. Otherwise we have that um, playpen thing that I showed you behind me, it's really big. You guys will have to stay tuned and see it next weekend when we go camping. Yeah, one day, one day. All right, and then we also have, there's a, storage thing behind this door over here um, and then that actually goes underneath here underneath the couch um, thing like the storage from outside is under so I think I hit all of the things um, over here this is where you would control your awning and then these are the lights for the outside but yeah, pretty straightforward. We're still like trying to perfect some things inside the camp or like organizational wise, just to make sure that it is like as efficient as possible with all of us staying in here. We have slept 10 people in here before and it actually worked out pretty well. Um, a lot of times what we'll do if it's just Mike and I, and we always bring the dogs with us. So we'll have both of those beds in the back folded down and we'll have 
actually the dog kennel on one or the dogs will stay on one and then the other bed we'll use for our suitcases and things like that so we can really sprawl out but if we have guests what we'll do is um, we'll store suitcases underneath here and then um, if there's a ton of people they'll line up their suitcases here because there's so much of a walkway here it's so wide like I was showing you guys there's like that huge wide walkway so if we have suitcases there it doesn't like take up a ton of the walking room um, it has a ton of storage and like a ton of walking room which is nice a lot of campers will only have like a tiny little walkway through them like this and it's impossible to do anything <laughs> all right you guys I think I'm going to wrap up the tour vlog there for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give it a big thumbs up if you did. I'm so excited for our new vehicle, our new family vehicle. We were well overdue. We upgraded from having um, an older like delivery pickup truck that we had and um, a little four-door sedan. So this is a big upgrade for us. Um, and I hope you enjoyed our camper. We are going to be spending many weekends coming up in this thing, so be sure that you guys are subscribed to my channel. Um, click that little red button below, hit the bell notification so that you don't miss out on any of my future videos. Again, we're from Minnesota, we go to the lake a lot, and we just love to camp, super fun. Okay guys, I will see you on Tuesday for another really fun video. Okay, bye you guys. Baby, 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 baby. Bring a baby, might be a couple, baby.